My name is Ryan, and today we're comparing the Melkunig EK43 and Dinning Lab Suite commercial coffee grinders. The EK43 and Lab Suite are legendary machines and known to produce some of the most desirable flavor profiles of all coffee grinders on the market. Though there are some similarities, these grinders are very different inside and out. If you're a cafe owner in the market for a new grinder, this video is designed to help you make the best buying decision based on your needs. So let's get into it. First off, let's talk about the external hardware of each model and how they're designed to be used. The EK43 features a 2.2 pound hopper and stands at 30 inches tall, but it can be outfitted with a short hopper for single dosing bringing the total height down to 26 inches. The EK43S is a shorter version of the EK43. With the short hopper installed, it comes down to about 20 and a quarter inches. The Lab Suite, on the other hand, has a 1.1 pound hopper, and it stands at 21 inches tall. But uh, this grinder will also hopefully be available with a single dose hopper somewhat soon, bringing that total height down. Um, the EK43's lid isn't fixed, so you need to hold on to it or put it on the table uh, before dosing. The Lab Suite's lid is hinged, so you can just flip it up. Both grinders feature a spring-loaded bag clamp that doubles as a chute knocker, intended to secure small and large coffee bags for grinding and to clear out chaff from the chute after grinding. In terms of messiness, there's always going to be some chaff flying around with commercial grinders, and it's just something that you have to keep up with. But overall, the EK43 does seem to be a bit cleaner, mainly because its long, narrow spout can be more easily concealed within a dosing cup or a bag. Whereas the EK43's chute is suspended in the air, the Lab Suite features a folding platform below its chute for hands-free grinding into the included metal catch or into something like a cupping bowl. The platform can be easily folded up to make way for a bag, and it can be raised and lowered on its rail to accommodate just about any vessel. Both the EK43 and the Lab Suite now feature momentary on-off switches for longevity. The Lab Suite switch will actually disengage after five minutes, just in case you mistakenly leave the grinder running. And that feature really speaks to the way these grinders were intended to be used. The EK43 was originally designed as a bolt grinder, built with a very powerful motor and large 98mm burrs for long grinding sessions. A recommended duty cycle of 20 minutes on and 40 minutes off. The Lab Suite, on the other hand, really shouldn't be operated beyond a couple minutes or about 5 pounds of coffee at a time as it can overheat during extended grinding sessions. Nowadays, a lot of cafes are utilizing the EK43 for single dosing or espresso um, or pour over, but the EK43 was actually never designed with this purpose in mind. In fact, because of its high power, constantly turning the EK43 on and off will ultimately knock its burr carrier out of alignment, causing some inconsistently sized particles. Instead, the EK43 is really best used for long grinding sessions because being turned on and off uh, isn't what it was designed for. What a lot of people don't know about the Lab Suite, on the other hand, is that internally it's virtually identical to the Malconig E80 Supreme uh, commercial espresso grinder, designed with the very same motor and even the same burr geometry. This means that the Lab Suite excels at single dosing and doesn't mind being turned on and off hundreds of times throughout the day. It makes this grinder ideal for pour over, cupping, or even single origin espresso. One thing I think is worth mentioning in the way these grinders differ uh, is in terms of workflow. Uh, the Lab Suite has no sliding gate at the base of the hopper, meaning you shouldn't dose beans into the hopper before a grinder is running and or receptacles in place. With an EK43, you can easily use the same receptacle that you dose with to catch the grounds. But with the Lab Suite, you should have two receptacles, uh, one to dose and one to catch the grind. Starting from a cold start uh, will initially cause some beans to grind at lower RPMs, which will inherently change the particle size distribution. It's generally best to grind from a hot start where the grinder is already spinning before you put in beans for just the best uniformity of grind. 
Grind range is another area where these grinders differ, and this is mainly due to the geometry of their burr sets. The lab suite features an extended grind range of about 100 microns to 1200 microns, making it uh, capable of Turkish all the way up to what some folks use for cold brew. When outfitted with the standard burr set, the EK43 has a range of around 180 microns up to 1200 microns or more, depending on calibration. And overall, the lab suite is better equipped for espresso and Turkish grinding, though the EK43 can be outfitted with a Turkish burr set upon purchase. Before we move on, let's talk about some of the basic features of each machine. So the EK grinds at about two pounds per minute at 800 microns with a 20 minute on, 40 minute off duty cycle. It's intended for long grinding sessions into bags. It grinds between 180 to 1200 microns. The lab suite grinds about two pounds per minute at 800 microns with a 45 second on, 180 second off duty cycle. It's intended for repeated short grinding sessions into bags and vessels and has a grind range of about 100 microns to 1200 microns. Let's talk a little bit about burrs and retention. Though these grinders feature very different burr sets, they are actually manufactured from the same material. Instead of using a machined tool steel, both the EK43 and Lab Suite burr sets are cast steel, creating a rougher texture and a lifespan twice that of steel burrs. Though we can't determine this definitively, the ongoing theory is that the rough texture of cast burrs causes the particles to roll off the burr rather than just slide off the smooth, shiny surface. And this allows the EK43 and Lab Suite to produce rounder particles that ultimately seem to improve the extraction and flavor of coffees. The EK43's burrs are vertically mounted, uh, kind of like this, and the Lab Suite's burrs are horizontally mounted, kind of like this. So in terms of grounds retention, the EK43 will retain around half a gram or so, and the Lab Suite will retain just slightly more, about one full gram. So that's just something to keep in mind if retention is important to you. The EK43 features a large 98 millimeter burr set optimized for its motor's very high power. And this burr set has a lifespan of around 13 to 14,000 pounds. The Lab Suite features a smaller 80 millimeter burr set optimized for lower power and output. And it has a lifespan of around nine to 12,000 pounds. You'll notice these burr sets have very different geometrical cutting surfaces. And that's another major factor that determines the flavor profile of each grinder. Both the EK43 and Lab Suite are highly unimodal grinders, meaning that the vast majority of the particle sizes are about the same size. This is known to promote a more even extraction of the grounds and allow a higher extraction from the coffee overall. Where these distributions differ is in the amount of fines that they create. Fines are like dust-sized coffee particles that break off during grinding. Uh, e the EK43 is designed for extremely minimal fines creation, which lends to a cup with exceptional clarity and cleanliness. The EK43's cups are lower in body, but excel in highlighting acidity and bringing out more subtle characteristics of coffee flavor. And that's exactly why it's become an industry standard. The Lab Suite takes a slightly different approach by actually increasing the fines production, while still maintaining a similarly high percentage of the primary particle size. This bump in the amount of fines creation creates the perception of a dense body with texture and above all, sweetness in the cup, but without creating a sense of imbalance or muddiness that you'd expect with a grinder with fines in it. The coffee from the Lab Suite is an absolute celebration of sweetness and body and highlights a remarkable mouthfeel that the EK43 just simply cannot. The truth about these grinders is that neither is better than the other. In fact, they are designed for completely different uses and flavor profiles. And that's something you need to consider before making a buying decision. If it were me, I'd make a goal of having both an EK43 and Lab Suite next to each other on my bar broadening the palette of flavor and texture I can get from each coffee. So I hope that comparison was helpful to you. Please feel free to drop any of your questions and comments below. Thank you so much for watching.